What's up you plebs, you don't master, welcome to the first video of this subscriber special week. Uh, today we have the Q&A, some roasts, and let, we'll check what the hot seat wishes and special YouTube wishes were for the 500 subs. Um, thanks for everyone who are supporting me. Um, if you want, you can join the patronage. Of course, nothing there is. Uh, you don't need to do anything, of course, that's just if you wish. Uh, thanks for supporting me on YouTube, thanks for supporting me on Discord, we have a very nice community over here with like, I think around 150 people. And let's get to the, some of the questions <coughs> that were posted. Um, so, we had some rambling about some boomers, not sure what actually that was. Um, let's see what are some recommendations. So yeah, boy wants me to do top 10s or top 5s, which actually I like the idea, and that'll be happening in the future days. Um, tomorrow I think we have the top five factions to play in a hot seat in retrofit. <coughs> so there's some examples as well as top, top 10 units, top 10 mods, factions to play, um, total war games, DLCs, uh, etc, etc. Top three awful factions in hot seat that will also be included, but will be top five I think. Um, yeah, so something like that. Maybe for a wrong K release, I do my own mod. That's actually could happen, but we'll have to wait to get there, I suppose. And yeah, it would be a mod for hot seats, not for single player campaign, because you know that's my niche. My niche is hot seats. <coughs> um, let's see. Do we have any actual questions over here? I think we might have. Well, remember, there's some rambling going on, some shit posting or something. I don't know. Uh, actually, there's nothing over here. I'm dumb. Okay, we have some questions over here. Not a lot, but a few. Favorite novel and/or comic? Um, you're not gonna know it, but it's from a Slovenian illustrator and comic maker, uh, Miki Muster, um, and he has. Um, a thing called Tardonias Vitarepets and Lakotnik, which are three characters, which are a toad, a um, wolf, and a fox. They each have their own thing. It's like I, I learned to read when I was like five years. Um, I was reading those things. I was like, when I was going to the bathroom, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go there and try to read these comics because they're like really cool. Of course, probably no one knows them because you're not really Slovenian. I don't think anyone is Slovenian. But yeah, that those are my favorite comics. What is my dick size? Um, I don't know. Ask. Insert a female a family member of yours. No, just joking. Um, I'm, I mean, it's. You can ask my girlfriend, I guess. Do I like to eat pato? I'm not sure what that is, but if you mean pate, then yes. What is my opinion on humanity? Well, my opinion on humanity is that it was a mistake. Um, <laughs> kinda. I mean, like, what we're doing right now, I think is pretty shit. Because we're, like, getting a snowflakey. I mean, there are problems in the world, like, you know, USA right now is kind of fucked because of that whole racism thing. No, I'm, you know, I'm totally against racism. I think everyone should be treated uh, equally as bad <laughs> and good, of course. But um, I feel like we're kind of slow, snow, starting to be some snowflakey environment, in a snowflake environment. Because, like, if I make a joke, everyone's gonna think, like, instantaneously that I mean, and that I actually mean it, and I, that, like, that I actually believe what I said, even if it's a joke and that, like, they get offended instantly, you know? I made a fair share of, quote-unquote, racist jokes in my life, but I find myself a very non-racist person. I hate racism. I think everyone should be treated equally. I have no problems with, I don't know, communicating everything. I would have no problems having a African-American or black or whatever you're supposed to call them, uh, people or Asian person or I don't know any culture Indian from Afghanistan from France from England from US from South Africa South America I don't give a fuck 
as long as the person is good to me, I'm going to be the back, a good person back. And yeah, that's basically what I think. But yes, I have made some racist jokes in my life, with which I meant no ill to the people of whom it was intended to. I also made some anti-Semitic jokes. I made some Hitler jokes. I made jokes about Hitler doing bad things to the Jewish population. I mean, yeah, it's a very sad part of human history and it definitely should not have happened. It it was, I mean, I can't even imagine how freaking bad it was. But I'm a person that likes joke. I make jokes about people I love. I will say my best friend, go fuck yourself because he's my good friend. It's like that. That's my that's my opinion. Don't get offended by anything. If you make innocent jokes that, yeah, might be slightly vulgar, well, you know, anyone who knows me will know that I actually do not mean that, that it's just a quick crack, a quick joke, and that I actually have no problems with any sorts of people as long as they're good people who treat me well and I will treat them well back. That is my opinion on humanity. Yes. <laughs> Favorite car? Ah, uh, I'm not really a, not really a car person. I mean, I have a Renault Scenic, which is a pretty like, I mean, it's a good, it's a cool car, but you know, it's kind of not anything special. Um, but yeah, uh, favorite car? I don't know. I like, I like the Rolls Royces. What are they called? I think Rolls Royce, right? Yeah. Um, I I don't like those sports cars. I like like. A bit tougher cars like like that. Favorite sports aside football. Huh. Oh, that's a difficult question. I do enjoy skiing. I do enjoy playing volleyball. Um I think I would go volleyball actually, yeah. Especially the beach volley. That's that's really fun. Favorite alcohol is whiskey or cognac. Um the difference between differ the cognac and whiskey is that cognac I would drink like one glass and then I would have enough and I would like, really enjoy it while whiskey is more of a thing that I could drink a bit more of not necessarily get hammered to shit um, like I think I used I did a few times. I mean, like I did one time. I think two times. I was like, watch Godfather with my friends, and like drink whiskey because it's like you know it's fucking, yeah. Or watch Peaky Blinders and drink some fucking whiskey. Yeah, it's just yeah. So whiskey slash, um, cognac. I think that's what. Did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? I have no fucking idea. Where is the cocaine I ordered? I don't know. Someone must have snorted it all in the fucking bathroom of a uh, plane or something I don't know uh, what was your first experience of hot seat my first experience of hot seat was huh, uh, was actually quite a bad one uh, I joined a discord server from Celtic Warband who's actually a cool guy um, nothing wrong with him in particular but there was a player that I really disliked who was I don't know we we're getting a lot of arguments and I at the end the rules like were changing all the time everything I did was banned the next turn and I was getting fined for it even though the the rule didn't actually um, prohibit that which was a really bad like you know like I made there were no rules about forts I make four forts next um, next turn I don't know it was like two forts per yeah it's like it was stupid like that that like my, I think maximum of three forts but not per player. So if an enemy made three forts in your territory, you're basically fucked because you can't do any. And there was no rules about the desertion exploit. I do it, and what happens next? It gets banned, and I have to disband my whole army. Even though it was not said that I do not actually need to not do that. And there were a few more instances, but I don't want to go into that. It was not the best. The first hot seat that I actually had, I think, was the Crusades one, which was a very good experience. And yeah, what led you to play Total War? Um, I had a friend of mine, that is still a friend of mine, uh, who had Medieval 2 Total War. And like, when we were like kids in the summer, you know, we were like 
half of the time we were at my house, half of the time we were at his house. And like, he had a very cool, good computer. I had a shit computer back then. And he had, out of all of my friends, he had the best computer. And what we always did was play computer games with him. And one of the games he had was Medieval 2 Total War. And then that's where I fell in love with it. And one time, I was like, I don't know, I actually don't know for what occasion, could have been the end of the school. I, like, my mom said, okay, yeah, we can go, like, you know, you were good. I, I had really good grades in primary school for, like, for the first nine years. And, like, mom was, yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's get your gift. Uh, you can go and buy a game. And what was the game that I bought? It was Medieval 2 Total War. Um, actually, yeah, I think it was like that. And after that, um, another time, I just randomly, I had, like, you know, that was, like, I don't know, like, 12, 13 years old, I had some pocket money, you know, because for some, uh, that whatever reason I needed it, I mean, I didn't need it, but, you know, I asked my uncle, okay, had some pocket money, anyways, I had, like, I don't know, 20, 30 euros saved up, and I found Rome Total War, I think, I, I think I, yeah, I know actually what happened, I remember now, so, my computer broke, we drove it, and put it to our parents shop, where they also sold games, it was like, you know, when we were waiting for them to check out what it is, no, no, we brought it there, it was okay. And then we went, and, yeah, wait, what happened? Okay, we went there, I need to, like, connect the pieces right now. Okay, yeah, he was, like, quickly trying to see what's wrong, and in the meantime, I was, like, searching, you know, let's see what games they have, and I see Total War Rome. I was like, wow, I did not even know that freaking existed. And I, what I actually thought was that um, it was a newer game, for some reason, because, I don't know, I was fucking... 12. I had no idea what's going on. I actually thought it was a newer game. I was like, oh my god, I freaking need to have this. And I bought it. Then I went back home, had no freaking computer, so I went to my grandparents' house, installed it there. And the first thing that bothered me was that the Hastati, that, like, the thing in Rome 1 is that most of the Roman units have those pilas, right? The, the, the spears that they throw. And I was like really fucking confused. I was like ordering my men to go and charge in because normally that's what you know heavy infantry does. And what they did was just they they were shooting their spears. And I'm like, what was what the fuck is going on here? Like confused as heck. But at the end, um, I found I actually didn't like the game at first at all. But then after some time, um, a few late, years later, I installed it again. And then I actually thought, oh my god, I was so fucking retarded. Those pilas are... You can press ALT and they actually charge in instantly. So, yeah. That was it. Um, we have the next question from Doom Gaming 571 Why did you start YouTube? So, when I was really young, with that my friend I was talking about, we made some cringy as fuck YouTube videos. Basically what I was like trying to emulate was... Uh, was uh, Nigahiga and Smosh and everything like that. Um... So basically, um, we were doing some cringy ass videos, but you know, it was alright, I mean, it was cringy as fuck. Later on, I made a second channel um, where I posted other games, such as mostly FIFA, some Call of Duty stuff, things like that. Um, and then later on, I decided, I mean, I was a really big fan of um, Legend of Soul to War, like, holy shit, I want to do something like that. So I decided, you know what, let, let's do it, you know? And I made a YouTube channel. Of course, the name, um, kind of... I mean, yeah, it does resemble Legend of Total War. I was like, kind of, okay, what's a cool name? And kind of not too close to Legend of Total War, but also kind of close to it. I was like, okay, let's do Yo Total War Masters. Kind of sounded cool, kind of sounded like I'm good at that, you know, stuff like that, so... That's why I started YouTube. I actually started YouTube when I was like, I don't know. 11, 12, some shit like that. It was cringy ass shit, but it was fun nevertheless. Uh, why am I a 20 year old boomer? I have no idea actually. Um, what was the first Total War game you played? Uh, that does mean that it was actually um, Medieval 2 at my friend's house. Can you give me a cookie? Um, sure, pot or no pot? Uh, Alright, bigger question. Why the Total War Master name? Uh, because Legend took le because Legend took Legends of Total War before you. It kind of. I mean, my name is kind of based on his name. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, we have a few roasts, not too many. 
Um, okay, wow, fantastic one. I have a small deck. Okay, great one. <coughs> and he's heard it from a friend, from a friend, from a friend, from a friend. Okay. Uh, if I'm allowed to roast, your total master, also known as your total wank master. Yeah, damn it, exposed. I wanked him off. I don't know if this is still open, but leaving here. Yeah, it's still open. Uh, your total master will be like 20 euros ma molding over 1 versus 1 hot. It's crash. <laughs> Fuck you, Romy. Uh, I am 20, actually. Um, that was such a fucking stupid week. I, I had a few days. I was actually kind of busy those days as well. And I had that. Holy shit, that was so annoying. I had that 1 versus 1 versus Xanderax. Where my game was just constantly crashing the whole fucking time. Because on only one battle, and I wasn't able to finish it, it was a hard battle as well, but yeah, oh well. I'm a 20 year old boom zoomer apparently, okay. So, I have a stamina of koala. Okay, and I touched uh, thousands of kids. Yeah. Yeah, Greninja is one of them. Um... So let's say some hot switch let's say two versus two tournament. Sixteen teams, each one puts <laughs> a shit ton of money that makes up to five hundred dollars. Um Well nobody's gonna put on thirty one and a quarter thousand. Oh uh, sorry, not thousand. Thirty one point and a quarter dollars. Um I mean some would, but some wouldn't. Interesting idea, but I'm sure you can I'm not sure you can find 100 players with 15 to lose. Yeah, that's true. If you don't have 15 to lose, you should get your ass off the screen hot and get yourself a temp job. Well, I mean, I have $15. I have more than $15, but I know, I mean, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm not going to get into it. My suggestion of hot hits are less competitive some something like only cavalry or artillery or something like no naval units islands are banned. It could be fun to pull or try. Yeah, that's actually a fun idea. Like, no calorie hot seat. Yeah, that's actually really interesting. I'm not sure what we do with the generals then, but oh, well. Good idea. Mine was same, and I put the same answer in survey, but not all players have a job. You can, I can, but some are in the early 20s or younger, so I'll, be s I'll skip betting part. Yeah, I mean, I don't think betting is a viable option, or maybe if it would be, it would be smaller than 15, maybe like uh, 5 or some shit. I don't know. We'll see. Propose something similar to survey. No bet. I join one with a buy-in who doesn't try gambling. I mean, the persons who really want it are the fucking favorites, you know. I mean, like someone who who pl who plays this for fun and knows he has no chance of winning. He's not going to want to put that in, is he? I mean, I wouldn't want to put that in in their case. The only I mean, I put up money for the one versus one tournament, but that's more because I'm the organizer and I'm like, you know, I get some stuff of Patreon, I kind of want to give it back. But if it was just a random guy, and I knew that I don't really have a big chance of winning, I wouldn't be putting in $15, it's just, I don't know. It could be smaller though, um, yeah, I mean, there's those cases maybe. It's more or less to be able 16 players, yeah, that, that would be more probable. And I have some special seriousness. I had a head and Warhammer, I don't actually have it. Um, Tom and Jerry series, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Cat person, I host. Okay, okay. Uh, Rome two to head to head or until one. I mean, I could try that, but to be honest, I hate those games kind of a bit. But it is what it is. Anyways, this is it for this video. Thank you for all the questions, roasts, uh, ideas of videos, etc. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, tomorrow we have the top five factions for hot seating in retrofit. Until next time, fuck off. <laughs>